Uh, we're here with Sean Davis. Uh, how are you doing, Sean? Yeah, well, tired hey, after that. Yeah, very <laughs> tired, but yeah, no, glad to be here. Um, obviously, you only spent oh, 18 months at Tottenham. Yeah. How do you describe your time at Spurs? Obviously, it was a brief uh, period. Frustrating, disappointing. Uh, is what it is. Obviously, it was an honour to play for such a big mm. club, and it was couldn't really turn down the opportunity coming from Fulham to play for Spurs and just was unfortunate really with, with injuries and then the, the manager who signed me, Santini, Santini, he got the sack and then I wasn't really Joel's cup of tea. Then he signed Edgar Davids, Michael Carrick, and Jenner, <laughs> so there's not really... Yeah, but yeah, I was, I was going to ask, what was it like having, you know, being brought in by manager Santini and him leaving so quickly? What was, uh, what was that like, the transition between him and Joel? Uh, I actually played a lot that this season. I think, I think what stopped me from playing was was injuries. Obviously, I was that season. I think we we were fighting for top four. Mm. Uh, but the, the mistake I made, which looking back now is probably the biggest mistake in my career, was I was having injections just to play games. And you know, the manager was like, "Oh, you know, just get, just, just, just need you out there, need you out mm. there." And I ended up making it worse. You know what I mean? And then next season, I wasn't even involved in the squad. So it was it was time to move on and, and play some football. Obviously, when you moved to Portsmouth, right, in um, 2006, yeah. uh, you played under Harry Redknapp, who's a great manager, former great manager. Yeah. What was that like? Was, uh, yeah, know? Harry was a character. If, if, if you were doing well, he'd like you. <laughs> if you weren't playing well, then he didn't really speak much. But no, he, he was a good manager. He'd done a great, he'd done a great job at, at Pompey and Spurs. Mm. Uh, likes to play nice attacking football. Uh, done well at Portsmouth. I really enjoyed my time at Portsmouth. Uh, Obviously, I signed there with Pedro and, yeah, and, and, and no Paramo, so it, it made it a little bit easier. Yeah, was it nice having a little Tom Tom contingent? Yeah, there? yeah, it was good. Obviously, they were a great bunch of lads. Pedro was a was a, was a fantastic player, and uh, honoured to have played with him. Really, when you were at Spurs, you had players like Robbie Keane, Jermaine Defoe around. Well, what are yeah. they? Quite are they quite characters? Especially yeah, Robbie? Yeah, Keane is a great a great uh, character. Loves a laugh and a joke, but at the same time, very professional. Uh, that's mm. why he's gone on so long. Uh, Always doing his work in the gym, uh, fit, fresh, and an unbelievable talent. Who would you say is the best player you've ever played with? Ever, uh, Louis Sahar. Louis Sahar. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, he had everything. Oh, Fulham. Yeah, yeah, yeah everything. Uh, score goals, uh, left foot, right foot, header, quick. Uh, yeah, unbelievable player. And the best game you ever played in? Uh, the best game, what for Spurs? There wasn't many. <laughs> I think we beat Aston Villa five-one at home once. That was right, Andy Reid's game. Yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah, that wasn't a bad game. Uh, I think. For Spurs, well, to be fair, I started quite well at Spurs. I mm. think we drew with Liverpool first game. Uh, then we, I think we beat Newcastle away from home. I think we were the uh, tuba. Yeah, the tuba. Yeah, I started off quite well. I just like I say, injuries got caught up with me. And but obviously, I'll probably be most remembered for my time at Fulham. Obviously, playing for Fulham in all four divisions and 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 being a part of such a memorable team that got promoted to the Premier League was was another good thing to look back on. Who'd say was the best player at Spurs at the time when you were? Uh, there? Oh, there were so many. I've always said that Ledley King was probably one of the best defenders. Uh, I've ever played with just for the simple fact that he never made a foul. He was great on the ball, left foot, right foot, very strong, and, and didn't really didn't really train much. Uh, well, even in those days, yeah, and that was the difference ball. really. I think he could he could get away with it. He could not train and then be ten out of ten on on the Saturday. Whereas with my injury, I couldn't really train and do as much in a week, and because I couldn't get that fitness, and I kind of struggled later on in 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 my career. So, all right, cheers for coming. No worries. God bless. All the best Cheers. for the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Man.